In a voice very different from the one fans are used to hearing in chipper Instagram videos, Spears recounted the horrors that she's endured over the past 13 years. She also revealed the extent of the rage she feels for the architect of the conservatorship her father, Jamie Spears. Many of the details revealed by Brithy's testimony drew horrified reactions from fans. Britney says she was forced to take debilitating antipsychotic drugs, that she was a prisoner in her own home, and that she was denied the right to make important decisions about her money, her career, and the raising of her children. But the revelation that's made the most headlines has to do with Spears' reproductive rights. Clearly, the level of control Britney's father practiced over her life was appalling, and the manner in which he abused that power was unforgivable, but according to recent comments from an anonymous ex-boyfriend of Britney's, Jamie Spears made little effort to hide those abuses. She asked him four or five times a week to end the conservatorship, and they would always give her some sort of BS, the former boyfriend told the New York Post this week. Britney's attorney Samuel D. Ingham used the word formally. What does that even mean when someone calls you four times a week, asking, how do I end this? I hope she sues the S.T. out of them for this. I will testify if it comes to that. The source says it was painful to watch Britney endure such degradation, especially since she was being denied the thing she wanted most in the world. What she wants more than anything is to have a baby girl, he added. That's all she's ever wanted, really. They kept her from that. They told her she had to do the Vegas show instead. He says he was unaware of the IUD, but fully aware that Britney was prevented by her conservatorship from getting pregnant. I just assumed they were giving her birth control pills every day since there was no way they'd let her get pregnant when there was the Vegas show to do, the boyfriend said. As for their level of privacy, it seems the boyfriend was with Spears at a time when she was able to have visitors unsupervised. That was normal. Britney was by herself in the house. That part was okay, he said. She was afraid to rebel or speak out because she was worried they'd totally take her kids away. The insider went on to reveal that there was no mystery with regard to how Jamie benefited from exercising this level of control, the whole family was making money off her. Her father made at least $200,000 a year off her while she got only a $2,000 a week allowance, says the source. He's AF, king loser. The only thing he ever did was run a smoothie shop or something, and that went bankrupt. Without Britney's money he wouldn't have anything. Britney clearly feels a similar level of animosity toward her father, telling the court, he loved the control, he had, to hurt his own daughter, 100,000%. From the get-go, she's been stripped of her rights, Britney biographer Steve Dennis told The Post. She's had to ask permission to use the phone and for access to any kind of money. Even her body has not been hers to control, basically she's been turned into a 12-year-old girl, permanently, asking daddy if she can have pocket money, he added. These limitations, these shackles, have always been part of the conservatorship. It's unclear what the future holds for Britney, but one thing is certain all eyes are on Jamie like never before.